Hi, I'm Ron from Ron's Machining Service. Today I want to go over open carrier case, spider gears, and how to install them. Um, you can actually do this outside of the vehicle if you're just installing a, if you're just building a new carrier, or if you have blown out spider gears and you're replacing them in your vehicle, same concept applies. You can do it the exact same way, it'll only be in your vehicle as well. Um, so let's go over a couple things here. So first off, this is a bare open carrier. This is how they normally come, nothing there. Um, and then this is a spider gear kit. Uh, basically an open spider gear kit comes with the four spider gears, you know, the two side gears, the two pinion spider gears, um, cross pin, thrust washers. This is the large one for the side gears. Concave one is for the small spider gears. Those have one each on those. Um, black bolt or some of them have a roll pin that presses in there. Um, so those are the basic components that we're working on here. This is pretty easy once you've done it a couple of times, but if you haven't done it, you're like, how do I get those spider gears in there? It's a little bit tricky sometimes, So, but, but there's a pretty easy way to get them in there. So you're gonna wanna clean everything and lube everything up with oil. Um, this one's already been cleaned and lubed, so we're good to go there. So basically you start with your side gears, your big ones. Um, they've already been lubed, lubed on the thrust washer as well. Put the thrust washer right on the side gear. Put this in your carrier. Fits in there, make sure everything turns. The other side gear, other thrust washer. Put that on there just like that. Put it up in there. Then your concave washer. Put it right on your small spider gear. Now you're going to want to put one in each side. So you start, you put one here. Kind of got to try to get them lined up as best you can. Brush washer, spider gear. They're all lubed up already. Put this one on this side. Try to get them lined up where the pin will slide through them. Any side, then you just turn them into place. You hold the thrust washer right on them. Roll them into place. Turn it around. I like to use my fingers, put in there. Okay, I can feel that they're aligned in there. So we're good there. Now on this particular one, there's two different size holes in the cross pin. I know that's gonna be the smaller hole for the bolt. Make sure it fits. You gotta make sure your hole and your cross pins line up to the hole in the carrier. Slide it right in there. Another word of caution, be careful. Thrust washers sometimes get a little cockeyed in there, and is, you can't beat the pin in when they're cockeyed because it'll tear a piece of the thrust washer off. So you don't want to do that. So you just want to make sure everything's lined up. Some of the pins fit tighter. You got to give a little bit of love to get it in there, but um, this one slides right in. But you just got to make sure everything is lined up correctly before you start manhandling it in there. All right, so perfect. Hole is lined up. Bolts in. You just need to tighten up your bolt. Now one thing is that if they're bolt in axle, you can assemble the whole thing like this, put it in and then put your axles in. But if it's a C-clip type axle, you can't assemble it yet. You have to leave your cross pin out um, because the C-clips, that's the idea of the cross pin on those is the, the cross pin holds your axle out so it holds your C-clip in place. So you can't you put the cross pin in yet the C-clip axle until you get your axles in your seat clips on then you can pull the axles back out put your cross pin in then you're ready to go so yep then make sure you tighten the bolt or the the, the pin that whatever you got in there and you're ready to go uh, make sure everything works smoothly so yeah simple as that um, if you need any differential parts like this um, or ring opinions bearing kits posi differentials locking differentials check out our website. That's ronsmachiningservice.net. Um, you can give us a call if you want, 1-800-694-3098. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos. Thank you.